All right, Liren, well, um, thank you for joining us today. Uh, it, it's great to see you again. And um, so we've already got uh, about 30 people on now. We'll be recording this and uploading it later on. But uh, Liren, welcome. It's great to see you again. And um, I might uh, just hand straight over to you to, to uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. And then we might uh, get into uh, your presentation on promoted listings. So, uh, Liren, go for it. Okay. Hi, everyone. Nice. It's uh, nice to see you all here at this late uh, time of the day. I, I, I said that it's a uh, late time because in Israel it's it's, uh, uh, it's 11 uh, o'clock at night, uh, uh, but it's uh, very nice and warm here now. It's summertime. So Thank nice, you for uh, nice staying up so late, Laren. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, it's the weekend now, so I'll, I'll go to sleep and stay uh, Till tomorrow, no, till, uh, maybe uh, till uh, noon. Okay, so it's uh, very nice to see you all here. And uh, Anthony, thank you very much for the opportunity. And as uh, Anthony said, we we start uh, chatting with each other a few months ago, mm -hmm. and uh, I discovered you know you know a well no a lot of knowledge. I mean, you you had so much information for me. And it's so nice to meet someone, you know, that can talk in the same level and have uh, same interest, uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, and knowledge. Uh, so I, it was a pleasure to meet you and uh, thank you once okay. again for uh, for uh, having a webinar at my team. So yeah. let's me let me tell you about myself a bit and then uh, we'll go. Uh, I'll share my screen for a minute and I'll tell you about myself and about uh, my uh, team. Okay, go for it. So you can see my screen now, right? Yep, looks good. Okay, looks good. So we'll start with, with the presentation. So just about myself in a few words. I, I have a MBA de a degree with business management. And once again, I'm or, or not once again, but for the first time, I'm a, 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 sorry for my accent, but this is a, an Israeli accent. <laughs> so if you can't understand my accent, Anthony knows me for the last few months, he will translate it to you. Oh yeah, I'll try my best. <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try to speak uh, slowly, okay? But this is our accent. accent. <laughs> okay. So uh, actually, I'm, uh, I can say that I'm an Etsy expert. Uh, actually, my story or my uh, Etsy uh, story start, uh, started a few years ago. Uh, I work for a few companies in Israel. Uh, 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 actually, in American companies like uh, Citibank, for a few years, and later on, uh, uh, after I uh, quit uh, Citibank, I, I, tr I tried to to find myself uh, another uh, uh, business or to start or searching for a new job. And actually, I <laughs> found eBay. I started selling on eBay. It was nine years ago, and after selling on eBay, I started uh, teaching people how to sell on eBay. And one day, uh, my, uh, one of my friends said to me, you know, there is another site called Etsy. Maybe you want to manage a few stores on Etsy. There is a lot of artists. They don't know how to sell, but they know how to make things. So maybe you want to manage stores. So I said, why not? Let's try. And uh, it, that was after a few years that I was already um, teaching people how to sell on eBay. And I, I'm actually a, a seller on eBay. But when I tried to sell on Etsy, it took, it took me exactly two weeks to understand that I don't have a clue. I actually can't sell on Etsy. Nothing. Uh, I tried to, you know, to manage a jewelry store, but uh, nothing was sold. So I understand I, I'm missing something. Yeah. And actually, I, I took uh, some uh, short course on uh, Etsy to understand how it works, what are the difference between Etsy and eBay. And uh, I started to understand how it works. And later on, I managed a few other stores with, ni with uh, nice success. And uh, after, let's take two years, uh, you know, in the in timeline, and uh, I tried to, to teach people how to sell on Etsy, which is much, much, much uh, fun than uh, teaching people how to sell on eBay. Actually, uh, the, the main reason is because you have an inventory in, in uh, Etsy. You have something to sell. Most of the seller on eBay, they don't have anything to sell. They don't have a clue what to sell. And on Etsy, I saw that people, you know, you're, you're making a lot of things. So you have something to sell. 
So it's much more practical. And uh, this is the first thing. And the second thing is the, you know, it's, it's much, uh, I, I really like to work with artists and designers. So I start uh, teaching people how to sell on Etsy, uh, mostly in Israel. Uh, in Israel, we have uh, around 5,000 stores from, uh, on Etsy. Uh, in Etsy, as you know, there is almost 2 million stores. Uh, in, in Israel, only 5,000 uh, stores. But most of them are selling pretty nice. Uh, and, they the, the, and they are. And actually, Anthony gave me this, uh, uh, gave me, uh, this uh, information also, uh, which I already knew. That on the statistics of Etsy, we can we are the fourth country, I guess. Am I yeah. right? It, it looks like right. you're you're definitely way up there. Um, I don't have the stats in front of me, but I think you were, uh, in terms of the average number of sales per shop, I think you were just behind um, Canada from from memory. Um, yeah, it's, it, it, there is a, a, a the U.S. I remember it very very well. <laughs> it, it U.S. Uh, and then Canada and then uh, another country and then Israel. Yep. Yep. So, uh, and technically in Israel, uh, we have we are five thousand uh, sellers, and actually I I teach most of them. I mean, in Israel, it's a small country, and I I teach around four four thousand four thousand or five thousand thousand people how to sell on Etsy. So actually, we know how to manage the, the things, uh, how to do the SEO, how to do the uh, promoted listings. And uh, also how to take photos, I guess. One thing that I won't talk today is about the photography. But uh, believe me, this is the number uh, one thing that you need always to keep in mind. Uh, to, to have great photos. I mean, to have uh, photos that sells. Because whatever I'm going to teach you today, or if you will find great uh, keywords on uh, Etsy rank, it won't help if you don't have a great photo. Mm -hmm. You must, uh, this is something that is, it's the most important thing on Etsy. Yep, so I, I want to show you some, some stores uh, on uh, Etsy from Israel, like this store. This is a primitive tribal craft. And they had already uh, 30, more than 30,000 uh, sales. And they are selling uh, this uh, primitive uh, tribal craft, technically, uh, to all around the world. And, and I, I'm sure that the photos are the thing that makes them sell a lot of uh, items, actually. And I we can see really also, helps, yeah, yeah. And yeah. also we can see uh, digital, uh, uh, digital download photo of uh, Elior. And she just opened the shop a few months ago and she has already 10,000 uh, uh, sales. And it's all digital items. I mean, you can download it. Just look at the at the the items. They they're well done. You can see that they you just want to click on it. So it's uh, great for uh, the buyers. One minute, and uh, also you can see this is all all always a surprise for me. Actually, as a man, how can you buy shoes on the internet? And the, I, and uh, my friend Amit that is sells shoes on a. On Etsy knows the answer. You can do it. You just need to show the uh, uh, the shoes in a great way that people will understand, and uh, and give a free shipping uh, uh, or, or hassle-free return policy. If you don't like the shoes or it's not fit to you, send it back to me, and I'll send it uh, to you again in the right uh, size. And he sells. Uh, he sold already uh, more than uh, six uh, thousand uh, shoes. And uh, by the way, he has he has his own shop on uh, on uh, Shopify and also on uh, Amazon. Amazon handmade. He sells the shoes as well. All of the people do, that we just saw, they also already sell in other uh, uh, platform, not just on it. Okay, so that was about me. I uh, hope uh, you enjoyed the introduction. And let's go to the presentation. Okay. So. Uh, uh, just uh, for yet letting you know that Etsy made a, a great prog a great progress in the last year. Actually, we have a new uh, we have a new uh, uh, CEO. Uh, uh, the new uh, uh, the, uh, I forgot his name. Sorry, Josh but, uh, Silverman. Josh, yes, uh, of course, Josh Silverman. 
and actually just came from eBay and he got a lot of practical uh, things from eBay that we have it now on Etsy. A lot of, uh, the, uh, a lot of promote, uh, promotion and a lot of tools for us, the sellers that we can start using uh, and, uh, and, and with a lot of benefits like the, uh, the social media, like a lot of bulk editing, like the sales. It it's can be very helpful for you to use those tools and to be on the top, I mean, on the, on the 5% of the sellers that are using those uh, tools. Uh, one of the things is the social media. Actually, we have on the marketing now the social media, which we can sh share our, our uh, uh, items uh, on Pinterest, uh, on uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram. It's very important to use it. You, 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 should, you should bring... Uh, uh, traffic to Etsy, not just from uh, uh, from Etsy itself, but also from the social media. Uh, and actually, the best social media, uh, the best uh, social uh, uh, is uh, Pinterest. You can uh, Pinterest can give you a lot of good traffic, uh, a real traffic. Actually, we can talk it in uh, on the next webinar. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> yeah. So about, uh, uh, we also have the sales and coupons now, and we have a lot of, uh, we have a new uh, coupon now with, for abandoned card that you can use and for uh, uh, recently favorite uh, items. It's something that most of the seller doesn't know that it exists. Uh, and if you use it, you'll be from the 5% uh, sellers that use this uh, uh, promotional uh, items. Mm. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you've got some wonderful uh, exposure to, to these new features of Etsy. I, I think that uh, we already need to have you come back and, uh, and present, but uh, sorry, okay. interrupt. keep going. And, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. So, so I'll go directly to the promoted listing. Yeah. This, this uh, screenshot is from uh, one of my uh, uh, shop, that, uh, not my shop, but a shop that I'm working with. It's an Israeli shop that sells a... Uh, uh, affordable uh, affordable uh, jewelry i mean mm -hmm. it's, it's diamonds and things like this uh, most of the items are around uh, three hundred dollars okay so technically we i start working with her and uh, her name is galit and uh, actually this uh, thing uh, i mean this graph uh, we can see the uh, impressions click cost order and revenue just to give you a short uh, introduction, uh, impression is the uh, is the number of time that Etsy showed us. I mean, show our my item in the last. Uh, let's say I think this one is for a few weeks. Uh, clicks is the times that people actually click on one of your ads. Cost is the cost of the campaign till now, and orders is the number of orders that. Uh, that uh, the campaign uh, uh, that came through this campaign. If you can, Anthony, just if you can yeah. mute the, the noisy people. Working on it. And uh, okay. uh, the, actually, the orders are it, it can be not just people that click on your ad, but people that click on your ad and bought something else from your shop in the uh, uh, just a few days afterward. It's it's not a, a, a it's. It's not a must that they clicked on the on the ad and buy the the, the item itself, uh, and of course the revenue is what uh, the campaign gave you. So this is, so let's go to the next. Uh, yeah, Lauren, before you jump onto the next slide, I, I I'm really impressed with the the amount of uh, the the revenue that's been made there. I'm looking at that, and it's over ten times return on investment. This is a a, a great number to see. That's a great job. I hope you're going to dive in and, and show us some of the tricks you've used to get that sort of return. Yeah, okay, of course. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about this one uh, a bit later. Yeah. So uh, actually, a few advantages, advantage of the uh, promoted listing. First of all, it's, it's a way to, to get your item to the first page. I mean, uh, if you're trying to get your items or, uh, the organic way, you, you will not always be on the first page. But, from, uh, but if you will run the uh, promoted listing, sometimes, a few times a day, few hundred times a day, you will find yourself 
on the first page because you are paying and Etsy will put you on the first page uh, of if, if there is someone here that doesn't understand how the promoted listing uh, works so just uh, in a few words it's a PPC campaign means pay per click I mean if you are running an, a campaign campaign and no one is clicking on, on your item you won't pay for it you are paying only for the clicks okay so uh, Etsy will definitely try to show your item on the first pages just I mean the first pages mean, mean the if you are not on the one to eight uh, the, the page uh, one to, to page uh, eight I mean if you are in a page uh, let's say nine or page 10 or page uh, uh, 12 no one will look at your item you should be in the in the first uh, eight pages mm -hmm. uh, and Etsy will try to put us sometimes on the first uh, pages why because they want our uh, to get uh, actually their money by clicking our items uh, so uh, the, the other things is getting accurate uh, traffic to your uh, store I mean the one the one good things about about uh, the promoted listing that it show your item exactly because people are looking for something that you have in your store i mean if i'm looking for gold ring i will never see a blue dress on the on etsy not and also not on the promoted listing item not on the ads because etsy is showing only things that are on on my keywords on my tags or my title and other things is getting more more important keywords uh, from the search term. I'll show you the search term in a few minutes. And uh, another thing is it's very good, uh, a good impact on the organic search. What does it mean? That if someone is clicking on your ad or a lot of people clicking on your ad, so also your, uh, 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 oh, sorry. So if people clicking on your ads, Etsy will promote organically your items as well because they uh, uh, calculating all the times that people uh, clicked on your ad there and they understand that your item is very popular so will they, they will show it also organic, uh, organically and there is a lot of time that you can see uh, some sellers few times on the same page some on the ads and sometimes uh, on a, a organic way okay so far that's that's okay. fascinating to know Lauren that it, it has that impact on organic search my wife has seen something like that on her shop and uh, we were speculating was it the organic listing automatically being high or was it the promoted listing lifting up the organic listing the the, the promoted listing is lifting the organic uh, uh, listing and this is something to take in account when you're when you're uh, you want to understand your uh, uh, your budget I mean uh, or your uh, your uh, promotion budget what mm. what that I meaning that I mean that if you're let's say uh, put something like hundred dollars for a month on the promoted listing uh, so you, you don't need to or not just look at uh, this, uh, this uh, graph you also you, you need to look at uh, uh, your store if uh, this month I, I it cost me a hundred or two hundred bucks uh, to run this campaign mm -hmm. let's see how many sales do I have even organically I mean, at my store, if this month I made a campaign and uh, I earned uh, $5,000, sometimes it's just because of the campaign, even uh, though the people uh, didn't click on the campaign, but buy it organically. Oh, that's very fascinating. Okay. Uh, so, so let's go uh, to the presentation. Uh, first thing that I think you should do on the campaign when you are running the campaign is to know about the max cost per click. I mean, there is uh, something that call a uh, max CPC, means that uh, you can, uh, you, you, you can, one minute, let me, I'm trying to translate it, <laughs> it will take me a minute, yep. but uh, I can choose what is the maximum cost per click that I wish to pay. Mm -hmm. I mean, Etsy will choose whatever they want, but I can say, okay, this is the limit. I, I want to pay only 30, uh, 30 cents per click. It's something important to, uh, to do and not to, to let Etsy to uh, take our budget uh, in a in few minutes. I mean, 
sometimes you can see that a, a click is a, even one dollar or two dollar per click, and it happens because you, you didn't put your uh, max CPC, okay? Uh, technically, I can show you how to do it. Uh, here, if I'm going to my campaign, I can go to the uh, manage. One minute. Manage, and here on the manage, let me start it. It, it this is kind of a testing store. Uh, on the manage, and then go to the advanced setting, and here I can open the max CPC, and to set to Etsy, okay, this is the limit. I, I don't want to pay more than 70, uh, uh, 17 cents per, uh, per click. Uh, I think that 17% per click is, is very low, but a bit, uh, let's go for, let's say, 35 cents per click. This is something uh, sounds uh, well uh, to, uh, to myself. Okay. And Liren, do you have a, a special um, uh, method of saying, okay, a listing is say $30, I will spend no more than so many cents per click. Do you have a special rule there? Yeah, of course, there is, the, there is always the ROI, return mm -hmm. of investment. I mean, yep. if you are selling digital items in $5 per item, I, I, I will definitely put the maximum uh, CPC in about maybe 10 cents, not, not more, because it's very expensive for uh, items with $5. Yeah, but if I'm selling things in uh, twenty to uh, hundred uh, dollars per uh, item, so thirty it's thirty thirty five cents per click. It's uh, it's enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, if I'm running the or after running the campaign, one minute. Let me see something. Okay, I'll try to explain it. Uh, 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 with the presentation, one minute. Okay, so first of all, I suggest let the campaign run by itself. Let's et let Etsy run the campaign for uh, at least two, three weeks, just to get the knowledge. I mean, especially if you are a new shop and you are not sure what is your best sellers. Let Etsy uh, start the campaign by themselves. And, uh, and after two weeks, we will exam uh, examine it. I mean, uh, as you saw on, on this uh, uh, on this screen, actually, what happened with this uh, uh, lady? She showed me the campaign and she asked me, "Do you think this campaign is it, it work, it works good?" And and for sure, this campaign works great. So the first thing that we did after uh, she put around not around she put ten dollars per day. Okay, uh, the limit was ten dollar per per day. And the after a uh, uh, three weeks we saw that it's working great so the first thing that we did we just doubled the budget we let it we let Ed, Etsy did the, the the work they actually did it very well so we asked them uh, or we didn't ask them we just raised the the daily budget to uh, 20 dollars per uh, per day and uh, we hope that it will also uh, double the revenue and actually that's what's happened the revenue was increased not in double but it it was increased and later on, after two weeks, we saw it's still working. So we also uh, we doubled the uh, the budget as uh, once again, or not double it, but we put uh, thirty dollars, and mm -hmm. then forty dollars per uh, per day. And when it was on the thirty uh, forty dollars, we saw it that it was it didn't work. Uh, I mean, it's worked the same. We should uh, so we took it down once again to thirty dollars. Okay, and then back to twenty. We saw that more than 20 uh, bucks per day is is uh, too much. Hmm. So, uh, Liram, we've got a question here, and, and yeah. apologies if you're getting into this in a second, but it's from Rick here on the on the um, webinar, and he's asking if if you uh, set a, a maximum CPC globally or individually for each product. Uh, yeah. Okay. So on. Uh, Technically, on the I, I can uh, decide. Uh, I mean, there is two ways. One way is, say, so uh, as I show you, uh, to go to the manage and max CPC. <laughs> Other way is actually to go with the item and 
uh, and instead of leaving it on auto automatic bid to change it to customized bid and give my bid uh, technically i'm not using this option uh, so much I'll, I'll explain it i'm using it later on when i'm trying to maximize the campaign mm -hmm. okay so i'll try to answer it a bit later uh, so the first step was this, to run the campaign. If the campaign uh, works good, so I'll double the, the budget. Uh, and uh, later on, I will, uh, I, I, I mean, if it's not working good, I should check, the, I, I should check what's happening here, why, why it's not working uh, that good. And actually, I will try, as I wrote here, to check the correlation between the clicks and the impressions. I mean, there is a, a, a clicks and impression on the campaign. And I, I, I want to see uh, how many people are clicking on, uh, on uh, each item and to understand what, is, what are the best items, I mean, the most clickable items. Okay, uh, here you can press on the clicks, mm -hmm. then Etsy will show you uh, the most clickable uh, items. And I will try to, exam, uh, to examine the, uh, the ratio between them, I mean, uh, to find uh, items that uh, Etsy show a lot of time, but people are not clicking on them. I mean, I have something wrong at my item. It, the first thing that can be that uh, it's obvious is the is the photo is the photography. I mean, the photo is not that good. So Etsy is showing my item, but no one clicks on them. So maybe I can close this item for. I mean, uh, not uh, take uh, not promote this item. Or maybe I should change the, the photo. The other things that I was uh, I would have checked is the uh, title and the tags. Sometimes we are we copy our items. You know, we, we take item and then we are just copying it to another item and and only change the the photos. But uh, sometimes the the title is not relevant. It's irre irrelevant for this item. I mean. If I'm uh, taking, take, will take this item and I'll copy it, and I'll take another uh, item which is a blue uh, bracelet, and I will forget to to change the word uh, black to blue. People will see this uh, uh, black uh, bracelets, but they won't click on it because they are was looking for blue one. So it's something that we need to understand why people are not clicking. Mm -hmm. on the item, uh, although Etsy is showing it a lot of times. Okay, there's something to check. And I, I guess that uh, uh, every uh, uh, 150 uh, uh, clicks, I, uh, 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 one, uh, 150 impression, I should expect a click. Someone should click uh, my item. This is a, 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 good, uh, a good ratio, actually. That's people good are one. clicking a good correlation sorry people are clicking at my uh, every 150 150 people someone is clicking my item if if uh, it's getting lower it's very good uh, and if it's above it let's say that uh, my item uh, was in uh, etsy show my item uh, i mean i had something like thousand impressions and only two people click on my item so something is wrong with the item. I mean, it's the title or the uh, or the photo, actually. So, Liren, um, one of the questions that's being asked here is, I think, quite uh, relevant to to your point here. Um, uh, Ella asks if um, uh, do you only put your best sellers on promoted listings, or do you use all items? Yeah. Okay. It's a great question. Mm. So technically. At the first, at the beginning, I will try to run all the all my uh, my items and let let Etsy do their best. And afterward, after I'm checking the correlation, I will close the I will I will I will leave only the best sellers. Uh -huh. this is, I, I, oh, in Etsy and everything, I, I think it's the best to try to uh, promote your best sellers. Your best sellers will bring you other items. I mean, people will click on the best seller item and then they'll go to the other item True. Uh, to your shop. So it's, it's better to promote not all the, your shop, but your best seller, maybe 10% of your shop. Okay, okay so you, just... don't need, you don't need, I mean, the first 
start with all the shop just mm -hmm. to understand what are the best seller or the best click the clickable items and then i will try to uh, uh, to promote only the best sellers okay and do you have a um a strategy for new listings to promote them as well that's the uh uh, actually, actually, the uh, new listings are the most promoted listing. Etsy. Hang on Etsy. a minute. I'm just yeah. going to mute some people here. Okay. New listing. You you can always see it when you are uh, when you have some new listing on, at Etsy. Uh, you can see that people are looking at at it. I mean, new listing are promoted uh, organically. Etsy is giving a shot. To the new uh, to new items and to best sellers on the first page. This is what you will see: the best sellers and the uh, new uh, items. So uh, if you have a new item, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you can promote it as well. I mean, to keep it on the first pages for a week or two, that it will start getting also the organic uh, promoted promotions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it was, uh, you, you understood me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, you know, um, I, I'm, uh, I, I like probability and mathematics. That's, that's how I am as a, as a developer and a, a product manager. And I, I like to, to give um, <clears throat> new listings a, a, a bit of a go, um, but I really like to let the numbers dictate the, the situation. So uh, I just got to thank you from Ella. So I, I hope that uh, that answered uh, the, the question that she asked. So thanks, Laren. Okay. So uh, the ad, after, uh, after we are checking this, uh, what are the, uh, the color correlation between the clicks and the impressions, and we'll shut down all the, the one with the bad correlation. I mean, that, hmm. let's say three, uh, out of uh, 300 impressions, only one click. So I can try maybe to change the photo. You know, sometimes the problem with your item is not the first picture, uh, photo, but the second one. I mean, sometimes we are we are we are a photo. We take a, a, a shot. I mean, a very good a good uh, a photography, the first one. But the second, are uh, I I just took a, it with my uh, cell phone, and then the people. It's it's not a good uh, photo. So people will uh, leave my uh, my item because the second uh, I, the second photo was not that uh, good. Okay. So the next thing that I uh, that I'll do here's the answer for uh, the question. I mean the, the next thing that I'll do I leave only the best sellers. Okay, and the rest I can disable for now. Okay, and after running th those uh, best sellers for uh, another two weeks. It's time. It's it's time for fine tuning, just to see uh, and to play with it. I mean, mm -hmm. to check what are uh, working. Uh, uh, are they working well? Are they uh, giving me uh, more sales? And uh, and then what I can do is actually press on this one. Search terms. Okay. Search terms. You can see it underneath every item. Uh, the search terms are technically. What people search and why Etsy show this item as uh, an as an ad? Okay, uh, let's uh, click. And, uh, here is the, are the search terms. After I clicked on the search terms, I saw what oh, there is. There is a lot of uh, okay. I saw uh, this high click rate, as you mm -hmm. can see. Some of the, uh, some people look for charm necklace, and Etsy showed me. Okay, we we showed it seventy five times. We showed it because you have necklace on the title and charm on the title and also on the on your tags. But I'm really interested in the girl heart, girl heart necklace. This was high clicked rate. I mean, because this was the exact phrase of my item. I actually am selling girls heart necklace. It was for girls, and I also had a photo a photo of my. Uh, of my daughter with this uh, necklace. I mean, it, it's a girl heart necklace. It was high click rate. Those were the high click rate uh, keywords are the most important keywords for us also in organic way. I mean, I'm always taking those words and I will put them also in other items. I mean, because people are looking for them hmm. and, and, and you can see it for sure that if you, if you put on your, uh, let's say on your uh, title or tag, you wrote uh, 
gift for her, which is very popular, but it is, it is not that uh, accurate. I mean, it's not talking about your item. It's, it's, it's too wide. So people will not click on it. People mostly click on the item that describe, best describe your item. Uh, and this is what I, I, I will definitely put on my tags and, and uh, titles. I mean, the exact, uh, the, uh, what is describing uh, the most my item. I mean, it's heart necklace, it's a girl necklace, it's a small necklace. And I will try not to put all the gift for her or Christmas gift, which is uh, very wide. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, technically, after uh, after this, after I, I'll, uh, I'm running the, this campaign and find and I can find the high click rate, I will go to uh, once again to the to my uh, items. Let me show you here. Then I will try try to play a bit with it. I mean, I can uh, if the campaign is working uh, well. I can click here on the auto, and now I can tell Etsy, okay, 35 uh, uh, cents is too much for me, and then I'll try to load the bid to 33, save it, let it run for a few days, and Etsy will still show my item because it's a best seller. They want the money, actually, and they'll keep show it even if I'm paying them only 33 cents. And later on, after a few days, I will try to decrease it uh, to to, uh, 30 uh, cents and and I'll try to find the, the, the balance I mean uh, to see how low can I go uh, and Etsy will still show my out my items it's there they are the best sellers so they Etsy has the interest to show them uh, more and more I mean because they, they will get a lot of money uh, out of it because people will are, are still clicking on, on these ads so mm -hmm. uh, actually this campaign that we just saw uh, that's what she did. She, we we start uh, decrease the the max CPC mm -hmm. uh, for, the, uh, for each item, and we, we found the, the exact balance. Uh, and now uh, she she actually earning uh, uh, ten times on each uh, on each campaign. That's wonderful, Liren. This reminds especially me especially for her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This reminds me of um, how um, uh, uh, Google AdWords and, and, and Bing Ads work. And uh, it makes me think of a question, and, and another user here has asked this as well. Um, uh, they actually emailed it earlier. But if I say spend a dollar, will that push my listing above everyone that say spending 90 cents? Or if I'm, if I'm paying 35 cents per click, will that put my listing above everyone that's paying 30 cents? Or is it a bit like Google and Bing ads where they um, take into other considerations and, and um, um, like a, a quality score or something? Can you tell us a, a little bit about that? Uh, technically, it's obvious. If you put $10 per day mm -hmm. and I'll put $5 per day, Etsy will show my items much more times. Mm -hmm. And if uh, I will, uh, if my bids are, uh, let's say, uh, half a dollar per click and your item is uh, 30 per, uh, cents per click, they will show my items. The more okay. you pay, the more uh, uh, well, they'll sure. show you, but there is still the element about uh, the click rate. I mean, if my yeah. items are much more clickable, they will show me even if I'll pay uh, less. Okay. Because because I'm uh, they can get uh, 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 my budget. I mean, okay. So if if you most, most, most of the shops, I mean, or most of the campaigns are not uh, Etsy. Etsy uh, will not will not. Uh, I'm trying to uh, translate it. They will not take all my budget per day. Even if I'll put forty dollars per day. Mm -hmm. Etsy will take maybe ten to twenty dollars per day. They will show me, but no, not all the people will click at my items. And why do you think that is? Is that because the the CPC is too low, or the the relevancy isn't there, or there's just not enough uh, demand? I think it's about the demand, and mm -hmm. and sometimes it's about the once again about your uh, photos. I, see. I mean, yep. it will show to you, but uh, not always uh, people will click. Yep. On the campaign that I just show you, people uh, click and click a lot, and uh, it's uh, every day. It's take the budget to the end. Yep. 
Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have uh, any question, I will uh, I will love to answer. It can be not only the promoted listing. Yeah, we, we've got another question in the in the chat there. If you want to have a look at that, Liren from Rick. Uh, okay, I'll read see. it out so that everyone can yeah. hear it. Uh, so if your items sell for fifteen to twenty dollars, what would you set the maximum CPC for? Do you see that? Yeah, I, I, I can hear you. Oh. <laughs> it's better for me. <laughs> so, uh, technically, once again, I, I think that more than 30, uh, 35, 40 uh, cents, it's, it's more than enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but, but I think you should, try, uh, you should start with a daily budget at least of $10. Don't, don't be afraid about uh, losing uh, $300 per uh, month. Because Etsy, uh, if people will click on your item uh, uh, with your uh, uh, $10 uh, budget per day, it will be, uh, you, you will see that it's working. I mean, mm. if you try only one uh, a, a budget of $1 per, uh, per day, you won't have enough clicks. Yep. Okay. I, I think that uh, $10 is a, is a good way to start. And uh, if it's not working, you can decrease it. But usually it, it will work and you will increase your daily budget. Yeah. You know, uh, Liren, uh, we've talked about this and, and um, I, I agree. I, I think it's great to, to have a, a good aggressive budget. I think that um, once you've mastered um, promoted listings, it, it's a wonderful way and a very easy way to make money. But getting to there is a big scary thing for a lot of people, a lot of sellers. Yeah, on as, so let me tell you something. Maybe yep. you know it from Facebook or uh, Google. I mean, on Facebook, if you put a budget of $10, it's, it's nothing. I mean, mm. to get people to your shop through, Google, through uh, Facebook or uh, via Google, you need a, buzz, a budget for about $100 per day to get a real traffic. I mean, on Etsy, if you'll put ten dollars per day, it's it's worth much more. I mean, mm. uh, this is something you need to keep in mind. Yep. Ten dollars is not that much in a, 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 if you want to compare it to Facebook, but in a, in Etsy, it's a lot of money. Yep. So apart from getting uh, great pictures, is there anything else you would recommend um, uh, sellers do to get their shop or their listings ready to start spending ten dollars a day or having a budget of ten dollars a day? Yeah, be, be authentic. This is uh, the number one thing, uh, or the number two. The, the first thing is uh, your photography. The second thing is to be authentic. Tell people what you are selling. Don't try to, to, to run uh, after Google, to, uh, but be authentic. Tell people what you are selling, uh, how you do it. Uh, you can also uh, uh, write a, a great about, about yourself. You know, you can put some uh, on the about. I can show you uh, one minute. This one, uh, Leo, she, she has a great about. I mean, on, on her about page, she also has a, a nice uh, story with video. I, want, I, I, I don't want to, uh, to start the video because it's going to be a little uh, noisy. Yep. But she tells about herself. She saw her craft. People who, who buy from her, uh, knows who are they buying from. I mean, if I'll buy these great dishes and, and you will come to me to dinner and you are invited, Anthony, and <laughs> but you if you'll, <laughs> when you will come to, uh, to visit me and you ask me, where, do you, where did you buy these dishes from? I will not say the word Etsy. I will say I bought it from Leo. She lives at uh, Jaffa next to the uh, sea because I, I learned about her. I didn't buy from Etsy. This is the big difference between Etsy and eBay. On eBay, when you're buying something and people ask, where, where do you get those uh, sneakers? So I'll tell them, I bought it in a eBay. It will cost me $20. Mm. But if you, uh, uh, you ask me about those uh, dishes, I will tell you, I bought it from an artist. She made it by herself and she's living in uh, some place next to the sea. The That's story is very important on Etsy. This is something to yep. keep in mind. Don't try to run after keywords. Sorry, Anthony, <laughs> for telling you. But I know, this is good. it will take you a month, a two months, three months. You'll find the right keywords, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Especially because due to Etsy rank. I mean, it's a, that's how we met, actually. Yep. You will find the right keywords, but then you should work about to be authentic, to, to be different from the other. I mean, yep. uh, you, should, you should tell your story 
with your photography and with the with the you know just tell what you're selling yep uh, uh, not not to just drop some keywords on on your uh, description you know Lyra and I, I I love that you've said that because I think that uh, a lot of people uh, can treat uh, SEO and, and, and marketing a little bit too robotic and I think what what you've just shown there is, is that wonderful balance of mm -hmm. uh, uh, Quality and workmanship and, and, and personal touch. And I think that's that's something great that everyone should uh, uh, Take note of and and, and, and learn um, More about now uh, Liram, we've got a couple more questions in in the chat room um, okay. and One's from uh, Chris and she's saying uh, what time period are you using to study your results? Is it a week? Is it a month? Can you, I think you can, I guess, it, it, you can recap. I guess it, at least two weeks. I mean, hmm. uh, also on the statistic on Etsy, not just for the promoted listing. Don't hmm. look at the, on a daily uh, stats, but look at the, at least a month. Because, yep. you know, sometimes people are getting to your shop and going through all your items because they are the, your competitor actually, and they're not, uh, they don't want to buy. So it, it's not uh, real statistics. Yep. Uh, so you should look at uh, at least uh, two, three weeks. A month is a great way. I mean, this yep. is, uh, usually I'm looking uh, uh, on a monthly uh, statistics. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I've seen a lot of uh, anomalies that just last for a day. So I, I think that looking at it daily, but really actioning it, only after a couple of weeks is a very good uh, good uh, strategy there. Yeah. Uh, a couple more questions. Uh, we're getting a little off topic here, but I'll, I'll ask them because I think they're still very interesting and, and relevant to people that are listening or watching. But do you recommend Etsy Pattern or run a, sh a separate store like Shopify? What do you think about that, Lyra? Uh, Etsy Pattern is, is a great way. I mean, uh, it's easy way. It's the easy way because uh, you can, uh, bring uh, traffic to your shop and not to to the mall actually not to the uh, to mm -hmm. Etsy yep. I mean and actually if you have a shop even it's an, on Shopify or on a pattern uh, it's better to to take all your social media I mean uh, from Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram and and uh, turn it to and point it to your shop and not to your Etsy shop I mean to your website or to your, to your pattern Pattern is a very good way. Also, you know, in maybe the uh, the disadvantage on pattern that the Etsy always taking a percentage from your sales, mm. but uh, it's also happening on Shopify. Shopify is also your partner. If you don't know, yeah. Shopify will also take around two uh, two percent uh, per each sell. Yep. It's something to keep in mind as well. I yep. mean, uh, so, uh, uh, but both of them are great. I mean, uh, Pattern is great and uh, Shopify is very easy to use. Yep, yep. I, like, uh, I like Shopify. I think there's some wonderful uh, extensions there and they've done a, a fantastic job there. And Pattern, I think, uh, has been evolving very nicely as well. I, I like how that's uh, taking uh, shape now too. And the simplicity of taking yeah. your listings and putting them onto a, a uh, Pattern site. Now, I've got a few more questions here. These actually came in uh, through the the Facebook um, uh, post and, and a couple from email as well. And um, if you don't mind, if we've still got a bit more of your time, I'll go through these, uh, Liren. And uh, no I, I suspect uh, if we keep going, uh, people get uh, really jump, uh, really excited and, and ask questions all night. <laughs> but the, okay. the first one here is, what do you think about very low bids like five cents? This is something from Isabel. Um, and she adds that uh, sometimes I do a low, a low bid and big daily budget and it's working fine, but not always. Any thoughts on that, Liren? Yeah, first of all, it's, there, is not, there is no one truth. I mean, there is a lot of ways. Yep. That's for sure, okay? Uh, I saw uh, what, what you just uh, asked. I mean, it's something that I, show, uh, I, I saw in a few stores that actually take like $20 per day a daily budget, but all their listing, uh, all the bids are about two or three cents. Oof. And I saw that it actually worked. It, it huh. worked in some stores, but most of the stores, it's, it's, it's not working. Hmm. Uh, if it works for you, so keep it. I mean, yep. if this is something for everyone. Yep. If something is working for you and it's uh, different from what I just uh, uh, said, keep on... Uh, Keep up. I mean, don't don't change anything. If something is working great, yep. keep it. Don't change. 
uh, most of this uh, most of the time you should pay Etsy uh, and give uh, uh, I mean uh, more than two or five cents mm. sometimes it's work with a low budget but it's it's not always usually you should uh, you should give a, a nice daily budget and uh, the bid should be around 30 cents per click Okay, I'll, I'll keep going on uh, through these questions here. So um, let's see. Now, this one's a, uh, an interesting one because uh, we have a lot of Etsy rank members that, that live in, in Europe and um, Russia, Japan, and Australia. And this person <coughs> is asking, this is Isabel again, uh, how does um, promoted listings work for other languages such as Russian, French, and, and Japanese? Um, so if someone's searching for a uh, dress or robe, <coughs> uh, will that be, uh, shown to people searching for those terms in every country? Do you know, uh, the yes. answer there? Yeah. Uh, Etsy, if, if, let me explain. I mean, Etsy is translate, translating the, the site. I mean, if I'm, if I'm logged in from France, they will show. They will show me the. Uh, they will ask me, "Do you want to sit in French, okay, mm -hmm. or in Italian?" If I'm in Italy, uh, they actually translate it with the Microsoft uh, translation, yeah, yeah. which is uh, <laughs> which is nice, okay. But it's not the uh, the best uh, translation. I mean, it's not a human translation. But Etsy actually translated, and you can see it sometimes on your statistics that you can see words that you you can't recognize because someone from german or italy is searching their own language i see the, promote, the promoted listing also working with the translation Good. they're working with the translation okay okay Thank you. Thank you. by the way there is a way you can translate by your own i mean if you know another language or you are from let's say in italy mm -hmm. you can translate your shop in your own words i mean etsy give you you can do that i mean there is an option to translate your shop in your local language and yep. uh, i mean italian when they're looking at their uh, shop in a, 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 a the, it's not a great I italians i mean you should change the you can't live with the translation you want to change it yeah so let's yep. give you the opportunity to do so I've, I've seen some mention of that in the seller handbook but uh sadly i speak one language and uh, i've not had the uh you know, it can cost you only a few dollars. You can go to tr uh, to someone to translate it. It's not that uh, far from us. Yeah. I mean, most if you are selling, you sell jewelry, right? My wife does. Yep. Yeah. So uh, technically, uh, most of your uh, listings are have the same keywords. I mean, all the rings. It's a wedding ring, engagement ring, and mm. uh, a diamond V diamond ring. I mean, if you take it to tr to someone to translate, uh, so they will have to translate uh, three rings, five uh, necklaces, and two bracelets, I guess. Yep. And then you just need to work on the how to translate the uh, uh, moonstone uh, gemstone or something, yep. uh, or other sizes. Yep, no, that makes sense. Okay, um, so we've got a few more questions in the, the chat room, so I'll read, uh, read them out. And um, if, if we need to stop, just uh, let me know, because I know it's getting very late for you there. It's almost midnight. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm being paying by the hour, no? <laughs> oh, <I'm kidding>. cool. <laughs> it's free, okay, it's free, so though. let me see here. Um, next question was, um, what, oh, this is a little off topic again, but uh, I'd certainly love to hear your opinion on this too, because this is very topical at the moment as well with our, with our group, is what's your view on renewing listings? Do you think it helps, it has no impact? What do you think, Larry? Whoa, okay. Uh, to renew item, uh, yep. uh, you can renew it also automatically with uh, yep. some other tools. Yep. Uh, which no, we're, is we're talking very about popular. manually renewing to, to try and give your listing a boost. Yeah, sometimes we can renew items and, and somehow it's kind of, uh, it, it helps. I mean, you know, if you are renewing an item and no one is searching for a V diamond ring that, uh, at that moment, so where did it go? I mean, yep. this is something philosophically to ask about. Yep. Uh, but still, the, to renew item, uh, mostly, 
it, it won't take your item. If your item is on page, uh, if, you, if I'll check on Etsy rank, okay, and I'll see that my item is on page uh, 20 or something. Mm -hmm. If I'll, I'll do a renew, it will not take me to the page uh, one. I should renew it once again and again every few minutes or every few hours, mm -hmm. and then I can see the progress. Yep. Oh. Uh, but if you, some progress, uh, I think it's better, sometimes if you have an item, let's say for uh, over a year that no one bought it, it's better to stop it. I mean, mm -hmm. to close it, disable it, and take the, the, the photography and the description, maybe try to change the photos and uh, uh, upload it once again as a new item. Yep. Because Etsy remembers the history of the item. They remember how many views you had on this item. And if they see that only 10 people view this item in the last year, they will not promote it to the first yep. pages because no one clicks on it. Yeah. So you and must I... understand that something is wrong with the item. It's better even to close it and to reload it. I mean, to up, not uh, reload it, to upload it as a new item. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah. Okay, so we've got uh, three more questions in here. Um, now, this one uh, is on pictures, so uh, I, I certainly like your, your uh, advice from earlier. So the question is, is it okay to repeat pictures if you don't, do not have uh, 10 images? I, I, I'm not sure that you have, that you must have 10 uh, images. Mm -hmm. I, I, let's start with this. Yep. It's better to have three pic, uh, pictures as, as at least. I mean, yep. people like, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about if it's good for Etsy promotion. I mean, as, as a human being, I like to, to see other picture. I mean, to see it on the other angle, to see it, uh, how it's in the light, uh, outside light. I, I want to see it, how it, it fits me on my hand, the, yep. I mean, the ring. It's very important to give the customer a few other angles about the item or yep. usable i mean if it's a bag i should uh, also photo it with a with maybe a tablet inside the bag or something that they will uh, can understand the the size of the item yep. or the usable if it's a backpack or a messenger bag i mean uh, this is very important yep. i'm not sure that 10 uh, etsy gave us the opportunity to upload 10 uh, photos but i'm not sure Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's it's the it, it's a must. Yeah, I, uh, I, I have to I, agree. I, and I actually think it's it's irrelevant to upload the same photo in the same uh, listing. Yep. I mean to upload it twice. What you can do is actually to upload it. Yes, to upload it twice, but but maybe to to to, to play with it, to crop it and give it you know like a um, detail info. Yeah, yeah. I, I have to agree. I, I think that we've really got to uh, focus on the human side here. Um, Etsy have given us the option because I think that um, uh, it, it's great to have that choice to really get a good feel for the product. Uh, I know that Etsy rank, we, we highlight if, if you don't have uh, 10 images in there, um, but it, it, I think it's optional. I think I've seen plenty of say, uh, listings that sell very well with uh, under five listings, but they're exceptions. Uh, you mm -hmm. really want to give the you know, the people a good sense of what the product's about. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll go on. There's two more questions here. Uh, is there a way to find the best days or times to promote if you have a small budget? This is from Susan. I think it's a very good question that a, a lot of sellers uh, worry about. Can you can you repeat it? Sorry. Yeah. Is, is there a best uh, day or time uh, to promote uh, your listings, or do you have a method? Uh, I, I, let's start with this. The, the, most of the people that buy on Etsy, uh, uh, more than 60% are from the US. Mm -hmm. So uh, to promote or to renew items or to upload items, it's better to do it on the, uh, day, the American daytime. Yep. I mean, yeah. I'm not sure that there is a, the right time. I'm, I, at that time. I'm saying as a seller. Yeah. Sometimes people buy for me at morning time, sometimes at evening time. Yep. Uh, but uh, mostly they w or lastly they will buy when uh, at uh, let's say 4 a.m. Uh, U.S. time. I mean, so, so it's better to promote or to upload uh, items on the time that the American uh, yep. are awake. Are that awake. makes good sense. That's yeah. going through. 
I, but still, it's it's a global uh, site. Sixty percent are from the US, but the rest are uh, from uh, Israel and Australia and uh, yep. Africa sometimes. Yeah, in Europe. Yeah, I, I think you're right, though. I think you've got to look at um, your target market, and if it's if it's the US, um, focus on that. I can tell you from some of the statistics that I've done or run on on Etsy sales, um, the majority happen between ten a.m. and and eleven p.m. So if, if the US is your target market, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about um, advertising or renewing after about midnight, and I wouldn't start it up again until probably 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. Uh, yeah. And I'd certainly want to have my budget run long enough. I wouldn't want to have such a small budget that I'm advertising from 10 a.m. and then by 11 a.m. the budget is, is exhausted. That's uh, not really fair for your listing either. But, uh, right. That's what I've observed, and I, I think um, you're you're uh, you're totally right there. Okay, we've got one one more question here uh, from Rick again. Um, let me just—it's a long one here, so I'm going to have to read this first. Um, okay. What happens if you, for example, set the maximum CPC for uh, at thirty cents, and their auto bid suggestion is over a dollar, or vice versa? Um, oh gosh, this is a long one. Liren, do you, can you read that? And uh... I, I, I understand your question. I mean, if yep. if they are, if Etsy want to, I mean, if the automatic bid is for more than one dollar, I mean, and is it okay to to take it down to thirty cents? Mm -hmm. I think that one dollar per click is a lot of money. I mean, yep. it's a lot of money to pay. Not everyone that uh, not everyone that will that will click my item will buy it. I mean, if you can see the statistics technically on Etsy, on uh, on the internet, it's uh, on all internet. People are uh, you need to get uh, at least uh, between hundred to four hundred visitors to have a sale. Mm -hmm. I mean, not everyone is uh, buying from you. Just one uh, to to two uh, hundred, I guess. Uh, yep. Visitor one will uh, will buy. So if, you, so if I'll give uh, $1 per click, it won't be good for me. I mean, it's too much money to, to waste on the on it. Yeah, I would only be entertaining that if the the item I was selling was several hundred dollars, uh, maybe yeah. close to a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Uh, if if it's more than thousand dollars and people are selling, I mean, Etsy, I I, I can show you another uh, shops from Israel that sells uh, in around thousand uh, dollars per item and then I guess they'll, they'll also agree to pay uh, uh, one dollar per click but mm. usually it's too much yeah yeah okay we've got one last question here for you Lauren and then we can uh, we can let you go and have some sleep um, <clears throat> and this is from Anne she says that uh, her shop is uh, both uh, English and French uh, but I have trouble finding keywords and tags in French because the software uh, don't give a lot of data for French keywords I think I've got a bit of homework here as well, but what's, uh, what's your uh, thoughts there for uh, French speaking people? Uh, I, I, I think that still most of the people, it's 60% are American. And the other, and the next country that buy on Etsy is from the UK, it's 7%. Mm. And then you can see the, maybe the Germans or uh, the Russians, it's not Russia, but the uh, German or Canada, which is, Two yep. percent. So I guess the French speaker are about two or three percent. I mean, it's use your the keyword that you have. I mean, uh, uh, think about the item. That's all. You don't need if you speak uh, French. So think about your item and put it as a keywords. You, yep. do, you don't need to think too much about it. I mean, the main keywords. I mean, uh, let's talk once again about jewelry. So I guess on your uh, listing, most of the keywords uh, of your uh, rings are gold ring engagement ring wedding ring mm -hmm. i mean uh, maybe we'll find another keywords but uh, but if you look at the statistic this will be the main keywords that people are searching i mean it will be gold ring uh, or maybe with the long tail a uh, tiny gold ring mm. I think I think a lot of time about the uh, long tail keyword it's very important mm -hmm. okay yep yep great all right well Larry and I, I think we're out of questions here. Um, thank you very much. Um, I've got uh, some thank yous coming through the group already. So um, this has been wonderful. I, I, I learned a lot myself and the, you know, there's two 
things that I've noted here as, as takeaways for me, and that is the, the promoted listings are lifting organic listings. I think that's fascinating and great to know. I think that there's uh, some indirect benefit there that we can all uh, appreciate. Uh, and also this, this um, what you showed there about um, what keywords are working for you and taking those and applying those to your other listings as well, not just the ones that you're promoting. This is, mm -hmm. this is wonderful. Uh, so thank you very much for your time. Uh, everyone, if you can see the screen, we, we've got Liren's details there. He's also a member on the Etsy Rank group. And Liren, do you mind if people message you occasionally to ask questions? It, uh, no problem. This is what I'm doing daily, answer <laughs> people uh, questions. Uh, feel free to contact me. Yep. Uh, once again, uh, I apologize, uh, apologize for my English, but I'll try, but uh, uh, we'll try to understand each other. Uh, yep. uh, feel free to contact me. Also on the Facebook, we can uh, become friends. And uh, also on the uh, uh, Etsy rank group, uh, I will answer there as well as uh, if you like. Uh, and, you know, we'll keep in touch, Anthony. We have Absolutely. Of, I'm yeah. looking forward to working with you again. Okay. Okay. So well, have, have a great a, evening. Have a great day. Here is midnight, so I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> so maybe I'll answer one or two messages now, but, you know, uh, later on I'm going to sleep. So I'll try to answer uh, tomorrow. Okay. All okay. right, Lerman. Well, you have a great evening. And uh, thanks, thanks, everyone, for joining. We'll record, we've been recording this and we'll upload it uh, later on into Facebook for anyone else that uh, didn't get a chance to read it. So thanks, okay. everyone. Have a great have a day. Good day. Bye. Bye.